Are you telling me you want to make vegan chicken? Are you really? Well, that's what I'm here for. Okay, so this really depends on how much you want to make. You can make a lot, or it can just, you know, make a little bit. You know, just personal size. But for me, I'm making a lot. So if you want smaller portions, just cut it in half. All the measurements, cut it in half. So, two cups of vital wheat gluten. Five to s or six tablespoons of nutritional yeast. You can add a pinch of pepper if you Okay, so, two s teaspoons of salt. I recommend Himalayan salt because it's awesome. And you can also put awesome garlic powder, of course. Definitely put a teaspoon of that and a teaspoon of onion powder. Now add all, all of the dry ingredients I just listed into a nice big bowl and mix it very So you're going to want to boil some uh, vegetable broth uh, one cube is all you need. I put six cups of water. Um, I put half an onion and uh, I added some more garlic and some more salt, a teaspoon of each. You're going to definitely need these for future parts of the recipe. And just to be sure, just put it on low, like medium, for about five minutes. So you're going to want to add three teaspoons of this lovely organic vegan barbecue sauce or you can use tahini sauce if you like and add uh, a cup and a half of the vegetable broth. Once you've mixed that together then you'll add it to the dry mixture and mix it when you have already mixed the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, they're going to look somewhat like this at the end. It's going to be just a little bit stringy, but you're going to want to do, you're really going to want that. Um, you're going to want to shape it after. You can have it whichever shape you like. It can be looking like a chicken breast or it can look like a McNugget if you want. So. Once you've molded your chicken, vegan chicken of course, then it'll look somewhat like this. You can make them smaller to put them in meals as like a, a mix with meals like orange chicken or such as um, just little chicken bites inside rice if you'd like. Or even add them to burritos if you want. Now you're going to want to take your nuggets and just add them to the broth that I mentioned earlier. Now, finally, you're going to want to cover the pot in aluminum foil and put it in the oven for an hour at 350. So, while the food is getting ready, you're going to make about three eggs worth of egg replacer. You're also going to want to mix together some ingredients for the breading. So, flour is definitely needed. Now, of course, you've got to add some, just a little bit of garlic and some beautiful salt. You can also choose to add pepper to the mix if you'd like. After the hour in the oven, you're going to want to take the nuggets out. Uh, you can either use a slotted spoon or you can use a fork so that the broth doesn't come onto the plate with the nuggets. For the egg replacer and breading the nuggets, you can add a sauce to the egg replacer. It can be any flavor you like uh, or you can just leave it plain just like that so it will give it more of a McNugget taste if it's plain. You can also choose to add the sauce after the nuggets have already finished cooking. You're going to want to add these babies, dip them in the egg replacer, and then dip them in the flour mixture, and then put them in another Now, 
Once you've finished making your chicken look like a bunch of powdered donuts, put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Create another batch of egg replacer that is again three eggs worth. Take the powdered donut looking vegan chicken and rebread it. Then fry in the same broth that you have used before, except add just a couple of tablespoons of oil to it and then after you're going to want to use a slotted spoon now after about five to ten minutes frying at maximum heat with the cover on the pot of course to prevent any spillage they should be ready it's best to make multiple so after they're done, you can let them cool off and pack them away for a meal the next day or even a couple days later. These are so delicious and so worth the time it takes to make them. Now if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Love you. Bye.